Jun until Sashita from ABB Metrication I Secondary School studying in 6 C. Today I'm here to perform a short run of the teacher. Let's move to our class. Today we are going to study about physics. Physics refers to the study of natural features. In this class we are going to learn about the size and shape of the shadow. The size of the shadow is dependent on the distance between light source and the object. See, when the distance between the light source and object decreases, the shadow becomes larger. And when the distance between light source and object increases, the shadow becomes smaller. Thank you. Students, I'm your yoga teacher, S. Mrithika. Today I'm going to teach you the lesson information technology. Let's see. Today's lesson is silent letters. We are going to learn the silent letters. Before you are going to in inside the other lesson, we are going to practice our yoga components. There are five components. Phonics, whole words, reading comprehension, grammar, writing and speaking expressions. Let's see. First we are going to learn yes, C silent letters. In yes, C silent letters. C is the silent letter. Let's see. S S S Scientist Scenery Scent Descent Science Scenic Ascent the same letters in your C words that will come as sentence but we want to their pronouns as descent. Okay, let's move on to WR silent letters. WR silent letters. In WR silent letters, the word W is silent. R, r, wrist, r, right, r, wrapper, r, rest, r, Wrinkle, r, wriggle, r, rick, r, rang. I think so you will understand the silent letters. That means in silent letters two words will be killed. In the two words one word will be silent letters because vowel is there. If vowel is before the letter it will be silent. Next we are going to learn synonyms. For example, Rohan is sad, Neha is upset. Sad and upset are synonyms. They have the same meanings but not same words. Okay, the word synonym cheerful, happy, quick, fast, neat, tidy, hot, heated, cold, chilly, humble, respectful, enough, sufficient. Start beginning. In these letters, we have more and more synonym words like start, begin, first, like that. Tidy, sleepy, sick, ill, rich, wealthy. Idea, thought, one, single, or separate. Trip, journey, above, over. Greetings to everyone. Hi, this is Mani from the class 6B. Today I am going to teach you the topic food. I have took this topic from the subject biology. So let's start. So what is meant by food? A food is a substance which we eat and get energy. There are many types of energy that we tell us nutrients. So now we are going to learn about nutrients. What is a nutrient? A nutrient is a thing which we get energy by a food. So there are many types of Nutrients, now we can learn. So, the types of nutrients, the first thing is vitamin, mineral, fat, protein, water, roughage and carbohydrates. So, now we are going to learn about ingredient. So, we get ingredient from a source. So, I forgot how, how we make a food with the ingredient. What is mean by ingredients? Ingredients is a substance which is used to make a food item. So, how we get the ingredient? I already told we get ingredient from a source. So, what is mean by source? A source is a thing, place or people which we get something. So, there are many types of source. They are animal source, 
natural source and plant source. So, we will explain and we will see interesting topics in the next class. Thank you. Have a great day. Good afternoon everyone. My name is M. Sharatnika from class 70. Today my topic is light. First, what is light? Light is a form of energy that helps us to see an object. So, source are classified into two types. One is natural source, another one is artificial source. Artificial source is man-made. Example, torch, bulb, mobile phone. For natural source, sun. So, what are luminous and non-luminous body? Luminous produce their own light. Non-luminous do not produce their own light. Glowworm is the example of bioluminous. Hello everyone. Let me introduce myself. My name is Lakshmi Krishna from 70. I am going to teach you an interesting topic about thermometer. Okay. Do you know what is thermometer children? Thermometer is used to measure the temperature of a body. So what is temperature? Temperature is a measure of amount of heat in an object. And the units measuring degrees are degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, degree Kelvin. And we can go to types of thermometer. Clinical thermometer, digital thermometer, laboratory thermometer. You can see parts of clinical thermometer. First one is bulb. And here is mercury. Here is ink. Here is this scale. Here is tin. Okay. Children, do you know who is the inventor of thermometer? Garbal is the inventor of the thermometer. Thank you children. I hope you all understood. Have a nice day. Good afternoon everyone. I am Vijay Sadira from class 7. We are going to explain about mode. Let me start my class. Mode. It is important in the shape. The process of digestion which begins in the mode. The mode consists of teeth, saliva glands and jaw. Let me go with the teeth. Teeth. Teeth has four types of teeth. They are sources, canines, primolas, and molars. The teeth helps to cut, tear, and chew the food. The white part is known as crown. Let me go with the salivary plants. It helps to mix the mixture of food and it made. It helps to digest the food. Tongue. Tongue has uh, taste buds. Taste buds have four types of taste buds. I will explain about that. Taste buds are sweet, salty, sure, sour, and bitter. This is the four types of buds. Tell us to taste the food. Thank you. Good evening all. Today we are going to discuss a topic about tense. There, there are three types of tense. Past, present and future. Past means which happened before is called past. Present, now, uh, which we are doing now is called present. And future which we are going to do is called future. Then there are three, three uh, there are three types. Simple, per, simple, per, simple, perfect and continuous. Let's go with simple, past simple, present simple and future simple. Past simple. I walk. I walk. Present simple. I walk. I walk. Future simple, I will walk. Past perfect, I had walked, I had talked, I had learned. Present perfect, I have walked, I have learned, I have teached. Future perfect, 
I will have to walk it. I will have to learn. I will have to uh, talk to you. Past continuous. I was walking. I was talking. I was learning. I was writing. Present continuous. I am walking. I am walking. I am talking. Future continuous. I will be walking. I will be talking. I will be writing. Thank you.